So before wire brushing, you typically get some soot. There's a good weld under there somewhere. Or I'm going to throw a bead right next to this edge here, just because it's kind of fun. So you can see it's a pretty uh, clean, solid well. Okay, so now I'm loaded up with a 5356. I'm going to put this down on a pseudo 60-61-40-43. I'll probably try to do a more virgin spot like right around over here. And uh, it can do it, so... We'll give it a shot. So I guess we're not going to be doing the 5356 today. <laughs> but that was fun. So I didn't have the feed rate necessary to uh, properly do the 5356 filler in my opinion. My machine was maxed out. So I melted the tip back which is uh, typically what happens on these when you don't have enough feed rate. Okay, so this is the settings chart off of a different Miller welder than the one I have. I have the Spoolmate 100, but this one here shows with the 150, the 5356, and the 4043. So, when I look at the settings, this is take 14 gauge, I notice that when you go from a 4043 to a 5356, the speed increases, the wire feed speed needed. The voltage stays approximately the same. So... I'm kind of wondering, can I take a 5356 using 35 thou, because right now I have 30, and will that drop the wire feed speed just enough to make it capable for this machine to do? I don't know. So I have to order this stuff, and then maybe that's another video another day. But you do notice, if you take the same metal and you up the size from 30 to 35 thou, the wire feed required drops. So it might, it might work, but I'll have to try it. I haven't found anyone on YouTube that's uh, posted any content like this. So I'll order it. Maybe I'll do another video another day to continue this one. But it might be possible. But the 4043 with the Spoolmate 100 and the Miller 140 with Auto Set works perfect. Let's try another 4043. We'll put a bead right here. Too bad, looks pretty solid. Personally, for the price of this thing, I would probably say recommending get yourself a $700 budget uh, TIG welder because 
this has very limited uses maybe if you have like an aluminum boat or something or some extruded angle aluminum you need to do some quick welding on fast a lot of it this would be one way to do it otherwise for i think does these things now i think they're like almost 400 bucks so 300 dollars more you have a very flexible tig machine that could do anything the other thing that sucks about these spool guns is when they rats nest on you it's hard to get into this one and clean it out No, it did not come with the switch. Because this is a spray metal transfer when you're uh, doing the spool gun, I got a 4043 here that's 30 thousandths. My one concern that I ran into is I'm running at 100% speed, so you're basically maxing out the machine. So if you have any type of uh, variations in the metal temperature, it uh, you don't really get much more room to add feed because you're maxed out. So I haven't tried the 35 thou, gives you a little bit more headroom, but I did notice too, these settings here that they recommend are almost right on the spot where you need to be in order to have a proper spray transfer because what happens is you get a very finite window to tweak the dials in when you're doing spray transfer versus uh, your typical short circuit welding up here. So you'll see that during the video sometimes even like a little hiccup in just the way to wire unspools in the spool gun will actually drop you out really quick. It's like a blip. You go out of spray transfer, then back to spray transfer. And the other thing about spray transfer is you want to have about double the length for your stick out that you would for steel. And you will literally see the, the rod coming out. The filler comes out, and then about midpoint, it just disappears. It vaporizes. And then it's kind of like spray painting uh, undercoating or just spray painting something when you put the metal down. It's pretty uh, cool when you see it. So... Well, you're not going to see it because I don't have the right cameras to film it. So, these are the settings. I'm going to try the 4043 and then I'll show you the 5356. I had to install that switch right here for spool gun because my welder didn't come with it standard if you got one of the first of these auto sets. Now, there's two versions of the switches. You got to count in the pins there because some of these machines came with only two pins and some came with all four. My machine came with all four, so that's the kit that I purchased. Pretty much have the machine maxed out now with the power. Uh, you can see here's the spool gun loaded. See how it kind of hiccups? When it does, you, that's where you start dropping in and out of spray transfer and it really sucks. But it is what it is. So we'll go uh, try to throw some beads. <laughs> 